when we're at the river, we frequently don't break rocks. So when I, when I see a rock like this, I think basalt. And yet look at these fractures, how glassy they are. Would you not agree that this is most likely a quartzite? A beautiful red, purplish quartzite. Probably, uh, maybe for you guys who do napping, this might be interesting to know that there are red quartzites in the Yellowstone. Or at least in this gravel deposit there are. A little bit larger crystals. You can see the pyroxenes there clearly reflecting in the sunlight. I want to say granodite. I, I could be wrong though. If you guys are welcome to comment. Look, look how bright green that is. Such nice material. And again, this is very common. You could make a nice rock garden going down to the Yellowstone and just looking for these. I like the more common rocks because if you are the artistic type, you collect enough of the different kinds and you could make designs. You could organize them by colors and patterns and things like that. Here are a couple of more fascinating volcanics for you guys. Of course, we've seen a few of these already. This is that jet black basalt with the extremely coarse sandpaper rind on it. We've already looked at a lot of those, so we won't spend time on it. But look at this here. This is another one of those rhyolites with the little spheres all over it. I've found these over the years at the Yellowstone, never this big. This is definitely bigger, it's kind of cracked. But again, owing to the fact that this is moved around by machines, look at the inside. There is no pattern whatsoever inside. And we've already seen a few of these here. Something on a micro crystalline level that causes parts of the same exact rock to oxidize differently on the outside and create this pattern. Oh no. No, on this one they show nicely. Remember the one we looked at earlier when I sprayed it, the spots disappeared? On this one they don't. Pretty.